Right, so I'm saying tents. This is what you've had in mind. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. And it's what? Haunted? Apparently so. Right. Apparently so. Can only mean one thing, can't it? Um, it's abandoned camping time. So this is it. I didn't think there would be that much left of it, to be honest. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, what is here? Oh wow. Oh, this is impressive. What, right in the middle? Not be too wet. Oh yeah, round the flies. <laughs> oh, it's always flies. Right then. Well, I think first of all we build a fire. Yeah. That'll get rid of the flies and that. Yeah, definitely. Right, let's start building a fire. Oh, that's it set up now. Oh, and you look at that. Lovely fire outside. Could be a good night. What do you think, Dan? Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Um, this place is renowned for haunting. Well, I'm trying to get that part out of my head, but... I'm ready. Are you? There's our nice fire. I'd say it really does make a difference. Oh, we've got some, uh, got some of these bad boys. We have some of these later. That looks very happy in his tent. Looks very content in there. Content. Me and Fudge are just chilling. Hi, Fudge. She'll be loving it. She'll be absolutely loving it. Mm -hmm. Is this her first camping trip? This is your first camping trip, isn't it, Fudge? First of many. Yeah. First of many. I'm definitely ready. I'm ready for some food, I think. Possibly some marshmallows. What I'm not ready for is this rain. And I was told before as well, uh, before I left to do this, um, the figure reminded me that there might be a thunderstorm tonight. So that's going to be fun, isn't it? So Dan's gone off to the car uh, to get some stuff to burn. Um, I'm just sat on my own, got some um, got some marshmallows out on a stick. Uh, me and Fudge are just chilling. Are we chilling? Are we chilling? Yeah, we're chilling. You can't have some though. You can't have it, no. Mm. <laughs> Fudge will keep me company. And hopefully Dan makes it back. Because this place is uh, it's meant to be really haunted. I'm kind of calling on that thunderstorm though. That thunderstorm should be nice. A little bit of lightning. It'd be really nice to see. So, And a bonus of this as well, just being out in the wilderness on your own, is you get to take advantage of the silence. <laughs> Everything really. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? You know, everything's just so quiet. I could just stick my phone on, watch a couple of videos on YouTube, and 
Just chill around the fire. <laughs> but yeah. Oh. It's uh, time for some sleep, I think. And I'll uh, join you in a couple of hours. Right, so a bit of a devel development. Me and Fudge were asleep, I think. Uh, there. Dan went to the car quite a while ago to get some stuff to burn. And he's just not came back. So I'm gonna go and try and find him. Oh, there's a light there. I'm hoping this is Dan, because if it isn't, I'd be quite worried. Please be Dan. Fudge, is it Dan? Is it Dan? I think it's Dan. The only light I can see, you can see that, can't you? Yeah, there you go. That is the only light I can see in this forest. Bearing in mind, you look up there, it's black, and that's where I've been. We've, we've walked quite a bit now. This is how far away we are from the road, literally, like in the middle of nowhere. I thought it was closer than that. But it turns out he isn't. Seeing that light from all the way back up there, I've been walking for about 10 minutes. <laughs> and that light isn't getting any closer. I think he's getting closer now. Oh, thank God for that. <sighs> I was panicking there because the way you were walking looked like there was two people. I was thinking, who the hell is that? <laughs> well, too bad this one, but this one's shining down there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh Fudge, I you couldn't find, rescue me. I couldn't find a lead. Oh, oh Fudge. We were both asleep. Was you? <laughs> Nearly, yeah. Well, she's flat out, uh, keeping my feet warm. And I was watching YouTube and then I, I, I nodded off and then I walked back up again. And then I started watching the video, and then you rang, and I thought, where the, where's he gone? He's been gone a while. But I literally, because uh, every time I looked at my phone, I couldn't see. And for me, you know, because it took away my night vision. Yeah. So I ended up, I was like, looking at the map, I was like, right, I had this direction. But my, uh, my person on the map must have been facing the wrong way. Oh. Uh. So I went down the other way. And got it was only when I got to me, it was in my house. Oh, no. Yeah, it was in my house down there. <laughs> oh. I was like, all right, this isn't the right way. Well, thank God you're back. You've been gone a while. Well. It must have been, I don't know, about half an hour, 45 yeah. minutes. It took me 10 minutes to walk to the car. And I've been thinking and walking about 15 minutes. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, it's nice and peaceful up there. The fire's... Uh, it's going all right. I threw that last log on. Yeah. Um, it's going all right, but it's it's going to die down soon, I think. I better make some uh, marshmallows and hot dogs then. Yeah, definitely. Well, we've still got it. Right, I'll join you back at the campsite. Right. So the good news is, he's safe. <laughs> um, that was mad. I was actually asleep. Um, we're both asleep. And then it's like what? It's like 45 minutes or an hour since he'd gone. But everything's all right now. Um, got some more stuff to burn. Strangely enough, he's brought a what is that? Like a crocodile toy? It's what Andrew found on random Oh. Yeah. All so right. we're running out of uh, firewood, and I remember Andrew found this wooden crocodile. Oh. 
Oh, well, it's, it's came in handy then. It really has. Um, I'll put my... Flex. Yeah? Would you like a sausage? I would love a sausage. Okay. I would love a sausage. You can't beat it. Right. You got a stick? I've got plenty of sticks. Yeah, just give me one second. <laughs> would you like some stuff? Okay, we'll have to let it cool down first, so Fudge, okay? Let it, let it cool down. Right. Sausage time. Can you reach the fire from there? No, no. 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 Oh God, oh. That's got some serious heat behind it. Where are you going? Oh. It's that hot, I almost can't put my hand near that. in your face. It's getting there, I think. See the steam coming off it. It's a good sign. Sign of a good sausage. <laughs> That's good. So I'll ask the question, what's your favourite part of abandoned camping so far? That was um, what's my favourite part of all? The two places we've been. Um, I'm not too sure, you know. It's like being out. Mm. Out in the wilderness. Yeah, pretty much. Right, might as well explore this while we're here. See, yeah, you're right, we couldn't have camped in this bit, the floor is way oh, too hard, isn't it? <laughs> Fudge! Where's she going? Oh, she's, a, she's fast. Um, <laughs> I've actually camped here before. Oh, have you? Yeah, this, this right here. Is it any good? Uh, it was okay until thunder came. Oh. Look, you're getting bored, don't worry. <laughs> Um, I'll show you a cool bit. Let's go this way. And this. Block of the. It's nice how a lot of it has uh, survived pretty well, though. So, believe it or not, this was a mock castle. So, it was built. It was built as a replica. A replica of a place called Liverpool Castle. Let me turn this brightness down. Yeah, it was built as a replica. Um, replica of Liverpool Castle. Now, it was built by a guy who owned a lot of the land around here. He also um, owned a place called Pigeon Tower, mm. which is further down the road, and he built that, I've done a video on that years ago, he built it as, I think it was a sewing room for his wife. Right. Now, it's a tall pillar style building, 
with a spiral stair, very tight spiral staircase, and just one room each level. Oh wow! Yeah, very strange. Who, who's OG and remembers that? Fudge, come on. Let's go and take a look at this bit down here. Yeah, who's OG and remembers that? Is that a doorway? Yeah. Come on, pup. Fudge. She's smelling of a dog. Fudge. Hey. Right, I'm going to leave you to the wolves. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Fudge. Come on. It's a, it's a weird... It's ra it is raining, but it's a weird kind yeah, of... I said that. It's like, it's like Silent Hill. Yeah. It's really strange. Come on. There she is. Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, so believe it or not, this isn't as old as you think. So how old is it? I think about 200 years. Is that it? Yeah, it's not, it's not massively old. Oh, I can't look at the corridor a bit there. Watch out for the oh, you're joking. Oh, yeah. I think one might have just dropped on me. <laughs> just check. No, you're okay. Right, good. And there's this one. Right, so obviously, I right now don't know if this is an ever a full castle. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, I will find portals online and do a voiceover. Yeah. But yeah. But I like this. I like how. Yeah, nature's taking me over. Yeah. But. I also like how it's a complete circle and it's still yeah. a complete circle. What's she doing? Oh. What's she doing? Fudge! It's an echo! Oh! Oh! That staircase! Oh! 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 Please tell me you're not going to leave because you're not going to have to worry about you being in the tent with me tonight. That's what I, was, that's what I thought before when I, when I fell asleep before. Is she? Will she? Oh, she's having a problem to get on. Oh. So, she's French. Yeah. Born in France. Bonjour. 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 No, I don't. She just doesn't listen anymore. <laughs> she's too excited about what's going on here. She's like, oh my, daddy's finally brought me on a on an explore. <gasps> Are you going to bring her again? Yeah, I will take her again when it's just like a chilled experience like this. Yeah. yeah. Really enjoying it. So is that all that's left of it then? Pretty much, yeah. There's obviously the wall that surrounds it. There is some sections over there. There's a bit of uh, staircase you can actually still walk up, but it's pretty dangerous. Oh. Um, and apart from that, yeah, not a great deal. But it is. I think this is a this is a starter for us. This is like a introduction I mean, we've done an abandoned building we've never really done outside and um castle mm. so this is going to be like a warm-up to all the paranormal outside camping we do yeah um because although i've been camping a lot of times i haven't been camping with a bunch of camera equipment and you mm. know having to worry about filming so this is a good where to get us into it yeah because we're going to be doing a lot of forests yeah in october so. yeah definitely for halloween i'm looking forward to it i've got to admit i really am looking forward to it this is the second time i've been camping in about five years yeah hell of a, well. a long time but what a picture that is Fireplace there. And I don't know what this bit is, nothing really. It's massive. It's 
set of stairs there that used to go up there, I would imagine. I'd like to have seen it when it was um, less ruined. Well, I don't know exactly how it looked, I'll have to find pictures. Right, There's quite a lot of rooms, isn't there, that, yeah. that have survived? I mean... Well, that's what I mean. I don't think it's as old as what we think, you know. But I reckon we should venture around and do more abandoned uh, ruins. Yeah. Uh, especially castle ruins, there's plenty of them up north. Definitely. Oh, I quite enjoyed this. Oh, God. Did you enjoy it? I definitely did. And I finally got to sleep. Look at that. Look how much is still remaining. There's a lot of it. And I don't think it's going anywhere soon. What? So. Yeah. Very nice. This path is pretty long. <laughs> this, this is the one you got lost on? Yeah, well not this not this specific one. It was one further down because like crossroads. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. It was a bit more relaxed, as the camping ones normally are. Um, it's yeah, it's it's relaxing. It's time to chill. There's not a lot going on, but it's time to take in the scenery, time to take in that quiet, time to take it all back. And I really enjoy it. I really enjoyed it. So if you did enjoy that video and you want more abandoned camping videos. Drop some comments down below of where you would like to see us do next. It would really be interested in seeing where you guys want to see us go. So, I will see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, 
hit that bell notification so every time we upload a video you do not miss it and i will see you next time peace